Back in 2005, Hurricane Katrina flooded the lower level of Nomita and Shamander Gupta's New Orleans home. When the waters receded, the renovation began. High on the to-do list, a $40,000 kitchen overhaul. I live in the uh, Fountain Blue neighborhood. It's not far from downtown. When this neighborhood was formed, it was more in the California craftsman style. And you'll see the bungalows with the, you know, the lawns in the front. It's kind of like a suburban neighborhood in the middle of an urban town. I describe my own style as island modern, <laughs> which is a, a, a term I kind of coined on my own because I really love modern, open um, spaces that are inspired from my own home country, India. The old space was a very typical kitchen that you might see in any suburban home. It wasn't horrible, but it was not our taste, and it did not function at all for our family. I love the new space. It has just changed the way our house functions. We eat home much more often. We cook a lot more at home. It really does feel um, a thousand, million times better. When we bought the house, we felt as if the home was compartmentalized. When we did get a chance to renovate our kitchen after Katrina, this was one of the first renovations we did, was to actually cut this hole out of this wall. I really feel it, it connects the house. The countertops are poured concrete. I designed it with this white Portland cement and put some aggregates into it so that when it was polished, then it looks like stone. Basically, for the appliances, I really wanted a very clean European look. We bought the cooktop and we got a hood. Because these appliances were not as expensive as we thought, we could actually splurge on having a warming drawer, which we actually use. And they're all actually very energy efficient. I did not want the same countertop again on the island, so I found a person who wraps countertops for restaurants, and he did this for me for a very low cost of $250. And we had a debate in the house about whether to put a lighting here versus a fan. I mean, this is not a fan of a fan, <laughs> but I wanted a fan because I was always hot in the kitchen here. One of the things that uh, we enjoy is our pottery, and we love using them on a daily basis and so we opted for an open kitchen cabinet. We were expecting to have to spend a lot of money to put a wood floor in, but when we chipped away the tile down here, this floor was underneath the tile. As you can see, it's a nice shape and it was underneath an unexpected surprise. I've never really been through any kind of renovation of any kind, but uh, it's given me a lot of confidence and the results can be fantastic. So I'm very, very pleased with how it's come out. Monica, we're in the Fountain Blue area, which is uptown New Orleans, and it's actually a very family-oriented area, great school district, and you get a lot more house for your money. I mean, well, that means that this renovation needs to be family-friendly. I mean, this place is busy. There's a lot happening here. Let's take a look. <laughs> okay, let's go. It is so open. Well, they actually blew this out. This wasn't like this prior. I couldn't take that wall. I definitely opened things up. This is a great, simple, clean looking overall kitchen design works beautifully with this opening good i um, hope it's working yeah. for you i see a lot of great things happening i love the surfaces and concrete what a wonderful choice for this kitchen um, you've got a simple flat panel walnut cabinet door the look together it's very clean it's great they had cherry cabinets beforehand and in my opinion were actually better than these I think the cherry cabinets were so cheap, and I really wanted it to look different. Yeah. Backsplash, love the glass tile. And you know, if you just turn around for a second, and you see the backsplash, it looks a bit unfinished. Um, like, in my opinion, they could have carried this tile all the way along this wall. It would have been gorgeous. It looks like they, quite frankly, ran out of money. We didn't <laughs> run out of money, but... <laughs> we just wanted to be finished. Yes. I think we were just mentally exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful hood. Nice. Love the gas stove. Great gas stove. Except um, I don't see a double oven here. Do you see another oven? Nope. If you're going to do a renovation, then you might as well have the double oven. The modern family doesn't use two ovens. They maybe use their one oven a couple of days a week. Monica, my buyers would love the stainless steel countertop. I think it's a great surface. It's inexpensive. You dent it, something happens to it, replace it, and you've still saved a bunch of money over putting in natural stuff. Are we agreeing? We are agreeing. We're agreeing. It's shocking. I'm shocked. 
I love the clean look of this exposed shelving. I mean, it's, it's very today. Most of my buyers in this market are going to want more storage space. I think we have plenty of storage for all of yes. our pots and pans. And Our emphasis on the kitchen was not storage for the other things. It was to use it daily and to put the things in it that we use daily. This may have been a mistake as much as I love it. It looks pretty, but is it efficient? I don't know what she's talking about. I mean, maybe she thinks that those, those cups and plates we don't use, but I... we use them. Yeah. <laughs> we use them every day. This is a smart kitchen. I mean, it's clean, simple, understated. However, it's probably not what the typical New Orleans buyer will be looking for in this neighborhood. Because the of the, the more modern urban design. Right. Most realtors are stuck with a very specific stylistic idea, but I think people are much more yeah. design savvy right. nowadays. Up next. So this is a New Orleans style island. I'm just not a big fan of granite in this area. It's been done. I'm over it. She thinks, Whoa. What? Our experts are in disagreement. I'm, I'm bummed out that you are not into Doug and Michael's kitchen. Can they make a final decision? Sweetheart. She has no clue.